what's up everybody uh apparently i got no i knew i got the wrong nightmare king because they did not give me a chicken patty or a bacon in it and maybe that will add to it because i had the nightmare king and i was very excited and i will just say another mukbang channel did put it up like a few hours before me but i had recorded it earlier in that day i've just been so freaking busy and i was so bummed because i literally when the day it came out i was like you know what i'm gonna be the first to review this little sandwich and um yeah i wasn't so Trisha Live, TrishaPaytasTour.com, going on to her next week, woo woo, and I'm eating Burger King every day. Uh, no, today I wanted to do my Trisha Paytas sandwich from Burger King, but we're gonna try and get this Nightmare King right and give it a fair chance. Again, I'm just going to say I don't like a lot of things mixed. If you know me and you've watched my eating shows for a while, I like things plain. I like things plain, this is a bunch of chicken and like carbs or something, like I, I like things plain, I don't like too many sauces, or I definitely didn't go in the right parking lot. <laughs> Also, my voice is shot. I just recorded like the padding vocals for um, I'm performing a Britney Spears tribute live at my on my tours on all my stops <laughs> Because Britney is literally the reason I wanted to do music music videos like anytime I record a song I'm like oh it sounds Britney anytime I have like an outfit um, Oh hi Oh shit. Um, anytime I like do an outfit, it's always Britney. Like I love Britney She's like the epitome of everything I wanted to be when I grew up and like I kind of am but like a knockoff version because no one can be Britney. I mean, no one. That's literally impossible. So anyways, I was doing one of her iconic VMA performances and I'm wearing the outfit and everything. But to, I have like, when I say pad, I am going to be singing live. But I, I, there's like padding, like there's an upper and low like lower layer and then my layer will be in the middle of it but just to make it sound more full um and not so karaoke-ish like I want it to sound good so I've been belting out oops it again like and like she is really hard with it I can't get no satisfaction and like I think I did it again she like goes full out with that performance and she has a lot of like ups and downs and um anyways I felt really Britney and ah uh, hey <laughs> Uh, cool, okay, yeah, awesome. Um, so, yeah, so, huh, what? Okay. Oh my god, and there's vans going the wrong way in this parking lot. Okay, I literally thought this was closed. I almost had a panic attack. Do they have that over here? I didn't even check to see. I was too busy worrying about my Britney vocals. Okay, let's see if this is, this is right. If they have the Nightmare King. I don't see it. This is the one that didn't have it, but... Hi, welcome to Burger King. Can I help you? Hi, yes. Do you guys have the Nightmare King? Hey, how are you? What can I do for you today? Yes, do you have the Nightmare King? Yeah, we do. What kind uh, of drink? Um, I'll have a Diet Coke. And you want to make a medium or large? Medium. With a Diet Coke. With a Diet Coke. Sure. Can I get something else for you? Yes, can I also get a spicy, crispy chicken sandwich plain? The, the dollar items or the two for six? The dollar items. You say plain? Plain, yeah. No, well, nothing. What it makes, what it makes it spicy is the dressing. Without, without the dressing, it's no more spicy. Oh, the spicy crispy chicken sandwich. You say the dollar one, right? No, I'm sorry. Can I just get the meal one? Oh, the number eleven. You want the number eleven or just a sandwich? Just the sandwich of I it. Got the, I got the offer. Two for six. If you want just one sandwich. Okay, sure. So you wanna do two for six? Sure. Two for six, two spicy crispy chickens. And then plain. Plain. What it makes it spicy is the chicken on those. On those. So it's just going to be just the chicken and the bread. Plain, yeah, right? yeah. Sure, anything else for you? Can I also get an order of cheesy tots? Sure. And no mayonnaise on the Nightmare King, please. Thank you very much. So let me know. Okay, thank you. The total cost to $20.99. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Once again, I think I got... Ooh, they have peanut butter and jelly. <gasps> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That sounds so good. Are you guys like really low? Hi. I'm up here. Good to meet you. My name is Trish. Yeah, this merch is sick. The back of this merch is really cool. We also have like pink. This is a crop hoodie, but we also have like long pink um, sleeves, tees, and then we also have pop sockets. Where's my phone at? Did I bring my phone? Oh my god, please tell me I brought my phone and not leave it at the recording studio. Oh, it's plugged in. Huh. We got pop sockets available on tour only. Um, yeah, killing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Like, I really don't like mayonnaise. Like, I can like kind of stomach like lettuce and onions. Like, I don't mind not stomach. I mean, I don't mind them. I just don't love them. And then I got two chicken sandwiches. I found way too much once again. 
I don't know how they keep having more food. It's such a waste. It is a waste because this I do throw away. I do like to, sometimes like pastas and pizza, I will do leftover. Also, I think this guy knows me. Also, this one is not good. This is the one in Hollywood. The one I went to in the Valley, they're a lot like nicer. Also, my fingers are getting so chubby from eating so much Burger King. Um, yeah, I've been eating Burger King way, way, way too much. That's why I like this girl. It's too much Burger King. Also, Starbucks by this Burger King that also looks so bomb. I really want a chai latte. I have a lot to do today. <laughs> and here I am. I don't understand what it's taking so long. You think I'd be spicy chicken? Also, my skin is breaking out because I've been eating way too much fast food. Well, it's like really bad actually. Just like this part of me. This is the part of me. No. I wish I had like the even the just the, the vocal track for my live performance. I'm so excited about this now. I'm getting more and more excited as tour is coming because I'm kind of piecing everything together and I'm feeling very confident and very excited about like changing outfits and like bringing something to each city different. I'm like really excited. Taking a really long time. Oh my god, Tikal Mac, Tikal Mac, if it is possible to get a Britney montage. I'm gonna use just this little clip that I just said of how much I love Britney Spears. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for my little montage. See how Mac, if you can edit all the times I've been Britney. Britney Spears has inspired me. She's the reason I wanted to do live shows. And she's the reason I wanted to create music. And I love Britney. She's the iconic queen of everything. If you love me, you have to love Britney. <laughs> oh, I just put my wallet away. Britney is skinny legend. Skinny legend, Britney Spears. It was 20 something, right? Yeah. I'm doing this Saturday night. I think I'm doing a mukbang with Jacob Paul this weekend. I hope it comes through. Like, I really, like, he was like, oh my god, if you guys watch these Burger King mukbangs in a row, it's gonna be me talking about Jake Paul. Yes, I can't think of the mukbanger who did this. She did the Nightmare King yesterday before me, and I was like, and like, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, who cares, right? Everyone can do this. Like, who cares? Burger King. But like, you know, you want to be first. <laughs> I actually like her. I subscribed to her. So when I saw her, I was like, hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> good to see you. How are you today? Good? Great, actually. Any sauce for the cheesy tots? No sauce. All right. That total cost to $20.99. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be right back for the order. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank oh, oh, honey. <laughs> well, uh, I have to keep, I have to pee a lot lately. I'm gonna wrap my car is a mess. So messy, it's like kind of embarrassing. I've got my hair done now, you guys. I'm not looking forward to it, but I need to get it done. And I'll feel much better once I do get it done. Scott, they are eating my drink. This is the two for six. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And here is the rest of the order. Awesome. Ketchup for the fries. No, I don't think so. Thank you. Thank I like you. your glasses. Oh, thank you so much. All right. See you very soon. I will. I'll be here. <laughs> I'll be right here too. <laughs> okay, wait for me a wink. Okay, wait for me a little wink. I like that. Okay, cool. We love. We love interacting with Burger King employees in the fast food window. Way better than getting out and seeing my full body. I think he thinks I'm cute from like the neck up. <laughs> but he doesn't see my belly and my thighs, so he's like, oh, she cute. <laughs> if you only knew, if you only saw. Okay, let's see here. So I have time to do a quick thumbnail with this. <gasps> oh yeah, this is like the wrapping is better. Yes, I think this is the Burger King nightmare. We've all wanted. Oh, okay. Well, you know, we have the bacon. There it is. There's my thumbnail. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot. That's like a lot, actually. Uh. <laughs> mm. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> First, I say it's fun to eat. It's. Cheese, chicken, burger patty, and bacon. 
And I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. Look at that chicken patty. It's not bad. Like, it's actually kind of good. Mmm. Nightmare King. You did so much better today. Nightmare King redo. Solid win in my book. It's really hard to eat though. Okay, we're at a yellow light. Thank God. I love when I get red lights when I'm stuffing my face. Okay, now this is really good. It's just a lot. Mmm. The burger freaks me out. <laughs> I love the packaging though. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's literally not. Oh man. Got onions all over my car. Mmm. I should get the burgers there more. It's actually really good. Oh, this bus is so close to me right now. That's exciting. That's a fun burger. If you just want one thing there, that's really good. But you know I'm craving my cheesy tots. And my chicken sandwich. And you know what? To be honest, I can't eat this full chicken sandwich. I had two now in here and I feel like that's such a waste. I feel like I'm on the movie Super Smash. I feel like I'm just eating this every week trying to have an experiment to see. Good to know if you order the spicy chicken off the dollar menu that the sauce makes it spicy and not the actual chicken. A lot of you guys said the chicken patties aren't as big where you're at. Oh my god, you guys, what is that? This is just amazing. The spiciness of this is bomb. <laughs> I posted a meme yesterday to my Instagram. Follow me at Trish Betis. So, I saw it twice on Twitter. I didn't know who did the original, but the one guy who I retweeted first actually told me that someone else did the original and he was super nice and gave me his Twitter mention. And I checked him on my Instagram. He made this edit. <sighs> Literally me in my car for A Star Is Born. And it's from like a mukbang. I think the first time I tried a spicy chicken sandwich, actually, isn't that crazy? From Burger King. I remember it so specifically. I think people, some people think, like I did that to edit into A Star Is Born. I didn't, it's from like an old video. Where I'm thinking a cop is talking to me, like telling me to move while I'm doing a mukbang. And then he's like, no, 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 not you. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> But how you put those two together? So classic. Oh my god. But, anyways. It's going kind of viral. I have a million views on my Instagram. Which is, I mean, I'm lucky to get like 100,000 on a video. And then... I think it has 5.5 million views on Twitter. I feel like those things always go more viral on Twitter. It's just easier to share. Instagram makes it so hard to share someone else's Instagram post. They should have like, I know there's a repost app, but they should have the repost app inside of the Instagram app. We can be like, post my timeline and you give the person credit, you know? I know that repost thing, but it's so complicated. Mm. Yeah. I'm supposed to have a personal training session tomorrow. One today I got so much stuff to do. I have my hair appointment today. Mm. I want to get new costumes around for me and Jason. My costume, I want to be. I want to be a brat style because Adam, my makeup artist, he's like, You should be a brat style. Like, I want to do brat makeup on you. <clears throat> but he hasn't texted me back. <laughs> I know he's busy though. He's always busy on the weekend. So I actually need him 
Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and I've already booked them for Monday. I'm just trying to see. I don't know if I just text them back. <laughs> Maybe you didn't see it. Adam, I love you if you're watching this. <laughs> but if I do the Bratz costume, which can only be really done right with um, Bratz makeup, I want the Bratz, this Bratz glitz tea that blinged up. This girl who does all my bling stuff, she's done one before. And she said she could get it done for me by tomorrow, but I won't need to rush it or get it done. Adam can't do my makeup. You know? I don't know. <laughs> God, these are so good. I really wish I could get someone else another sandwich right now. Maybe I could. So much traffic, I'm gonna be late. Dang it. I thought I'd be okay on time. Mm. How many calories does a chicken sandwich have? Because spicy chicken. I eat one of those every day. Oh my god, they're so good. I remember I just ate the patty if that would be considered like keto. Because honestly, like, I do love the bun with it. This is like crazy traffic. Did a car stall up here? No. Oh my god, yesterday when we were in the car, it was me, David, and Jason. We were driving somewhere, and this guy from Tinder that I was so rude to me, I actually did like a video, like awkward sex story time or something. He talks to me. He always used to WhatsApp me, but I, like, I remember I even deleted it in a video with Jason. I mean, Jason deleted my WhatsApp because a lot of Tinder people would WhatsApp me. And then Jason's like, text him back, you have a boyfriend. I didn't want to text him back at all because I just feel like I've been ignoring him because he was rude to me, like, so long ago. So I didn't want to text him back at all. But then it looked sus, like, if I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to text him that back. That's so I did. Because, hot, hot, why are you so hot all the time? So, that's so weird. What is that advertising? Oh, Tinder. Oh my God, it's so funny. There's a billboard that says single never has to go home early. That's Tinder, hashtag swipe life. That's so interesting. So many billboards on Sunset. It's crazy. I wonder where this money goes. Does someone buy the billboards and then they rent out the space? Probably. Um. So... So I texted him, and then he was, he was like, really respectful. I'm like, oh, okay, hope you're well. Like, good luck, or hope that works out for you. And to be fair, this guy, I don't think has social media. He was, like, way out of it. He was so rude to me, though. Like, he would try and hook up with me, like, last year, too. And, like, I was kind of, like, when I was, like, sad and lonely last year, I, like, thought about it. But I was like, no, he was, like, so rude to me. I don't, I don't know what that story is to have his call. It was bad though. These tour bus always. I'm really looking at my car. See you looking at me. Like I'm some kind of freak. Get up out of your seat. Oh yeah. My tour of Britney video needs to be like five minutes long so I can change out of my wedding dress. I'm doing, I'm performing one of my new songs called Never the Bride. Do I have it? Did I play it for you guys already? Mm. Well, I think that'll be out next week before I even go on tour. Let me see if I have it. Never. 
Oh no, that's my art for it. Never the bride. We're on so much traffic right now. Okay. I think I plans for you guys. Oh, maybe I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna fast forward to the course because I don't think I played the course. I love this part of it at the end. There she goes. That was an amazing song I recorded yesterday. I love it. I love ballads. And it's called Six Feet Under. It's like sad but beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have one more. I'm gonna leave two in here because I can't keep eating these. They're what's literally destroying me. They're so good. Good. All right, guys. I wish I had it. It's so good. I think I was singing it in the Milk Queen yesterday or the day before. Let's see if he's in it. I was just at the recording studio to make sure him. It's like, when I'm six feet under, will you remember me for the woman I am or the celebrity um uh -huh, let me get the lyrics up because i don't even know it all i sang it so much yesterday you guys my voice is like uh, i think it's overheated i like <laughs> wrap it up i right. well if you're still interested in hearing a part of the song i'll sing it for you guys now when I'm six feet under, will you remember me for the woman I am or the celebrity? And will the tears fall hard as saying, how can this be? She was just another a girl like me. Um, hold on. This, I won't say who this is inspired by, but it was someone who, not inspired, that's the wrong word, but just like, it like really affected me. Someone who took their own life, this girl, and I was like, anyways, um, I don't wanna get too into it because it's like kind of personal, but anyways. And then it goes into this cool, like kind of black eyed peas, kind of like TLC, like 90s vibe. The music's beautiful too. Like Connor is my producer, Jeremy is helps me with my lyrics and also vocal producing. Um, I have a really, really good team. And you know what? People like to steal my team of engineers and hair and makeup and choreography. And you know what? You can take everybody I work with and you still ain't gonna be me. <laughs> and that's not just a one person. There's a few people that literally use everybody I use and that's cool, whatever. I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but it kinda does. Like, okay, you're gonna take everybody, you're gonna poach everyone. Like, I love Brittany, but I'm not gonna poach everything she does. You know what I mean? Anyways, okay. If my world top turning and I'm losing my feet Because the ground keeps shaking from right underneath And I'm needing oxygen cause you're the air that I breathe Can you set me free or will you plane and leave? Ooh, Adam just texted me. Hey, Adam. Will you still love me? If I'm broke in the morning And I'm losing my hair Will you still love me? If I'm gone in the morning and just lying there. I want to perform this in Philly at my last stop because I'm kind of like adding songs like Houston I'm performing a special song and like I kind of want to perform a special one at my last tour because I think it'd be so beautiful to do like a video but I'm doing so many videos on my first leg of the tour 
I would love to perform this. Like, if you're a guitarist in Philly and want to do the song with me on stage, I'd be so sick, actually. How would that work, though? Because I need it for a music video. Anyways, it's such a pretty song. Okay, you guys are overheating. I gotta wrap this up. I need to make my appointment that I'm two minutes late for. Sorry, Zoe. I love you guys. Come see me on tour. You can get exclusive merch. I'll only be available on tour. Um, okay, you guys are officially overheating. I need to stop. I love you guys. You can also get other merch. There's new merch available up at trishshirts.com, iTunes, Very Soon, Never the Bride, and my album, Chicken Farm and Heartbreak, will be out within the next couple weeks. I'm going on tour. Hopefully, I go on tour for 2019. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. And until next time, give my kisses from Little Bit of Fishies. Mwah! Also, I have a second channel, youtube.com slash Trisha's Life, where I try on Halloween costumes. Also, David Dobrik made me his thumbnail this week, so go check out that and be like, Trisha's amazing, this thumbnail was everything. And also, go check out Jason's channel, where we did a couple therapy with Katie Morton from Shane's Jake Paul series. Okay, guys, I'll link all that below. Go check it out, leave some comments, say, Trisha, I, we love you, because someone loves me over there. Okay, bye, guys. Mwah!